Every year, a, a group of brave and committed people give up their money and time to help our work in northern Uganda in practical ways. They've been doing medical, eyeglass, and construction work for the last two weeks. They fly home Friday. Team, team leader Dave McClash joins me to update us on what they've been able to accomplish. And Dave, you shouldn't be here right now. You broke your leg and you couldn't go. Yes, but I left um, the leadership in charge of my darling wife and she's doing a great job. Of course she is. Yeah. Now they're in Barlonio in northern Uganda. This is a place that's still recovering from a decade-long civil war. Tell me about Barlonio because it's kind of a special town. Yeah, Barlonio six years back when we first went there was um, a, a real suffering community. You can see the, in the eyes of the children wandering around. There are a lot of orphans. Even the adults that survived the, the massacre, they, um, they were lost. There was uh, about 300 not. people massacred yes, in that town. Yes, yeah, in one shot, and uh, a terrible, terrible de devastation. And uh, the recovery from it came as a result of, uh, of us coming there. And if you saw the, what was there then, with open fields and with people wandering around, and you go there now, and you talk, and you see the kids, 190-some-odd children, going to school, having their own time together. They have their own Bible study. They have their own commitment time. They have their own dedication to one another. It is just a tremendous uproar. And there's a clinic there now. The school is there. The home for the orphan children is there as well. And so. that's our partner's faithfulness in these teams, basically, have built all this. Well, with Crossroads uh, leadership and in, in identifying where we should go and what we should do. And our, our, our partner offshore, Victor Outreach Ministry, is a big part of what's uh, accomplished. If they don't have the leadership in, in telling us how that can be accomplished, then we're just wandering and guessing. Indigenous and local partners, I think, is really key to what we do. It's so important. Now, um, we built the clinic, but you go and you do these medical outreaches. So tell me how significant it is that people are able to have medical care. Well, we have about um, 150 every day line up, some that have been there overnight and uh, uh, wait and bring their children. They, they don't have medical care uh, available to them. They can't afford it if they do have um, access to one. Uh, they, they bring sick, sick children, um, uh, they're sick themselves. I, I often imagine, you know, I hear people talk about what they go through here. Oh my goodness, you know, I have terrible, terrible pain. I get all kinds of uh, issues, as uh, women's issues, and men's issues, and children's issues. And oh gosh, I can't imagine. You imagine being somewhere where you can't get treatment for urinary tract infection. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Ear infections, all kinds of things that we treat on a regular basis. We turn them away every day. 150 come, we see about 100 every day, examine and treat about 100 every day. Wow, and I know that you're hoping by the end of this time that you'd see over 800 patients, give over 2,000 prescriptions, 1,700 medical treatments, and then of course eyeglasses. We're hoping to give out 350 eyeglasses. How important is that? Because I've, I've handed yeah. eyeglasses in the developing <laughs> world and I cried the entire time. Yeah. Well, the eyeglasses is a real outreach ministry, um, only because we have a special lady there, Nancy, who looks after the eyeglasses. And uh, she, she does a, a, an introduction to Christ at, with every pair of eyeglasses, every examination she does. Uh, I think so far for this last week or so, she's 32 people have committed their lives to Christ. Wow. And those 32 people are be referred to a local pastor who will follow up and do the uh, So the why, why the spiritual impact when we're doing something practical? Yeah. Well, it, it's the demonstration of Christ's love. I mean, we're not there as a humanitarian organization. We're there as representatives of Christ. We're there to demonstrate Christ's love. How better to do it than the way he told us to do it? Mm -hmm. To reach out to those in need, those who are suffering. Poverty, despair, illiteracy, hunger, abuse, disease, all of those things that people suffer from. Yeah. If we don't if we don't identify with them, how can they even think about us representing Christ? Um, how, how, how do they connect? And they feel forgotten by, by the rest of the world. You know, we're living our wealthy lives in comparison. Even if I, I've, I've at times in my life felt poor and then I've gone there, I thought, I'm not poor. That's ridiculous. So we're living our wealthy lives. They feel forgotten. Yeah. But, you know, we need to remember them. We need to see them and help them in every way that we can. We cannot, cannot, cannot forget what it does to the people that go. The people that go with us, the feedback that I get is constant. My life has changed dramatically. I now uh, feel like I'm valuable. I, 
I participate in the community, I participate more in my church, I participate more in my family. I'm involved because I've reached out to someone else. I've stopped being self-centered, selfish, and self-righteous mm. because I've had the opportunity to reach out to other people. My first time in to see extreme poverty, I said every Canadian needs to have this experience because it changes the way you think about everything. It changes your gratitude, your giving, everything. Yeah. You know, you're going to plan another trip, hopefully in the fall, and we're talking about me. Am I going to come? Absolutely. I yes. could do stories on like how everybody is being impacted by the trip, the people yep. that we're serving, and the people that are going. And you can join Cheryl and I on the next trip in October. Uh, it will be a, a similar outreach. However, at that time, we will go to another remote location where we've been once before. And I will do a clean water outreach. They have nothing there. So they're like a Barlonio of six years ago, but we have the opportunity there of having um, a medical outreach and, and doing some construction for a church they want to start, a school, multi-purpose facility they want to start with us. Clean water is an absolute necessity there. So, Okay, so the kind of people you're looking for, it's not just doctors and nurses with medical training. Who, who is it? Anyone who has a desire to serve. You're a small group from your church, your church group, uh, your friend, your um, spouse, those of you who have said, I, you know, I've always wanted to go to Africa. I always wanted to reach out to other people. I've always wanted to do something, but I just never, you know, it's one of those things you never, ever know when the right time is. Well, the right time is now. This Make is a decision to go. Knocking Absolutely. on their door. And you said and that anybody who doesn't have money, has go. God always provides. You always see this. You know, this is 82 trips we've done in our time with alongside uh, of all the people that have said I feel committed to go we've only had one person that has not been able to go if God lays it on your heart to go you will go no barrier that man can put up financially timing um, issues with work all of those kinds of things God will tear them down all of those people came so I, I'd say to people... It's life-changing. Yeah. Decide. Contact us. We will ensure that we go through the process with you, and I'll guarantee you, you'll go. Dave, thank you so much for all that you do to expedite these teams, and your servant leadership is one of the reasons that people are impacted. So thank you. Thank you, God. And hey, if you want to go to Uganda, northern Uganda, with Dave and I next fall, possibly October, it sounds like, you can give Kelly Nuttall in our Relief and Development Department a call. Her number's on the screen. It's 905-332-6400, extension 3327.